It's hard to believe that this pretty garden along a busy Melbourne railway line was once a weedy gravel patch. But here in the inner city suburb of Northcote, a group of dedicated volunteers are committed to looking after it. Morning, Jane. Morning, how Jane. are you? Good, how Good are you? Thing. This is just a lovely site. The lovely little pocket in Northcote, lovely apple tree in yeah. the middle. It just, really makes it, doesn't it, that it does, apple tree? Yeah. It's just on the tail end of blossom. Now the canopy's coming out, and when it comes out, it's glorious. It's got yeah. a lovely shady canopy. And all of the plants are very well chosen to be fairly drought tolerant. They are. They had to survive. When they were planted, they got a bit of attention, but yeah. there's no water on site, so it's all hand-carted water. A few waters at the beginning, and then just top them up a bit, but basically they have to survive on their own. And it's all done by volunteers. Exactly. Yeah. We've terrific. got a wonderful group of community-minded people who chip in. We've got a working bee every month, so they come along. A lot of the plants we've got have been donated. This Wigandia arrived a couple of months ago from a local neighbour. I love the Wigandia because, well, it's got nice flowers, but also those amazing leaves. They're like elephant leaves, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Like, like rough skin. Yeah. 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 It'll do well yeah. there. So that's a different colour, though, the nasturtium. That's a beauty. That's milkmaid. It's lovely. Yeah, that's yeah. a lovely one. I love that. You don't often see the Jerusalem sage, do you? No, it's yeah. so sculptural. It's, mm. Yeah, I love how it's got that lovely little cap of <laughs> flowers. It's a very hardy, tough plant that should be grown more often. Well, we hope so, yeah. yeah. This part here that's really facing the dramatic sort of railway line with yeah. the trains and the ding, ding, dings, well, that's really good. It's like a hedge, isn't it? So that'll exactly. be bouncing yeah, yeah. some of that. And that's a scented geranium. So people brush past that and you get a waft of lovely fragrance, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah. So what is this place all about? It's gorgeous. Well, this is a, a garden that started with a community group and then Louise Tinney, who lived just down the road, she used to pass regularly, became involved in the group and gradually over the years it evolved into what we see today, this beautiful perennial dry garden. Really well thought out. Was that you to Louise? Yes, this is all Louise's work. She was a plonker. She would just put things <laughs> in spots and see if they worked or not. So there's lots of sort of vantage points around the garden where you can see different heights, different colours, different leaf structures to create interest year round. So how did things get started though? Water carted in milk bottles, <laughs> in <laughs> shopping trolleys. <laughs> just to keep things established. Wow. Little stick fences around new plants mm. just to sort of let people know that there was something there. So things have really survived remarkably well. Passers by would get yeah. roped in. Next time you come past, bring some water with you because oh. these plants need watering. Don't let them go unwatered. So uh, tell me about Louise. She sounds like a, a wrangler. She got people oh, involved. That's exactly right. She connected with people straight away. Look at this. Look what I've planted. Look at this beautiful flower. Have you got time next week to come and help me pull out some kikuyu? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the so, kikuyu grass. Yes, exactly. Louise passed away in mid-2021 and these committed locals, including family members, are making sure her legacy lives on. Miranda, this is a garden for your mum. How do you feel about that? It's a very special place that, you know, Molly and I are going to be able to come to all the time and, you know, I'll be able to teach her about her grandmother and about the beautiful person she was and how passionate she was. How do you creating. think she would be feeling about all the people who love this garden? Oh, she'd be incredibly touched. She'd be overwhelmed, I think. And for people to carry on that work that she started, she would just be so happy. Another really important thing for Louise was that everyone deserves beautiful things yeah. around them, and this garden provides that. I just wish she could see it, see it like it is, because she started it. And, um, her spirit is her here, spirit though, is, And actually, we say that, don't we? We feel her spirit's here. We do, and that's really nice. While the garden started off with mainly perennials, the group have also started to incorporate some native plants. It's a nice open space for this little bit of Indigenous stuff. 
that I've just popped in a little banksia, pinus banksia, with oh. really kind of interesting leaves that resemble obviously a pine tree. Yes. And it's quite protected now in amongst that in yeah. the kangaroo grass. Lucky to get a donation from the council with yeah. all, all these lovely grasses. Oh, so again, beautiful. we've got poas and yes. kangaroo grass. Oh, it's lovely. Yes. Yeah, I love that spot. And I love how they just spread out like that, like yeah. huge sort of fans of and grasses. And that's bringing the native birds oh, in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Oh, yeah. And the little critters, hopefully, you yes. know, Sort yeah, of it's nice and to have a mix, in. isn't it? Yep. Now this looks a tough old spot. Oh yes, this gets that baking hot sun in summer mm. and the soil quality is not that great. And a bit of rosemary yeah, over here. Yeah, a bit of rosemary that, that likes it. So. Yeah. And Open. the dianellas. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then the goodenias. Yep. You pick really good, tough plants. And what about the pink face though, the carparotis? Yeah, I love ah. it when it comes into flower. It oh just, yes. It makes you really happy looking at that. It's yeah. so cheerful. No, things are doing well. I, yeah. I think yeah. you need to be congratulated. I think it's wonderful. Do you, do you know what that one is, Jane? Yes, that's that. It's called wire creeper because yeah. it looks like wire, it does, doesn't it? And yeah. it's a Mulanbeckia. Oh, okay. It's a New Zealand plant. It's a love. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. no, we love it because it covers up all that. that. Yeah, yeah. The, the graffiti. If yeah. We get it. yeah, no, it's really nice. It's good. Yeah. In 2019, the garden became part of the Station Ears program, a Keep Australia Beautiful Victoria initiative, encouraging local volunteers to become custodians of an area, transforming these areas through working bees into parks, gardens, or tracts of native bushland. So Big Track owned the land, mm -hmm. and so Louise, being determined as she was, joined up with the Station Ears program, even though there's no the station, station here. Yeah. <laughs> this is in between it's two in stations. Between stations. Yes. Yes. But she saw the potential to get financial backing, mm. um, to get new soil. So what jobs do you actually do here? Well, there's always lots of pruning. And Louise was, I used to call it wallaby pruning. So nibbling like a wallaby to keep things in shape all year yes. round, so she was always doing that and the sort of chop and drop method. Chop the tips off and let them fall, push them under the bush so it's more mulch for the garden that will slowly rot down. So there's often a lot of pruning and we've got a mulcher because we try and process as much as we can on site. So yes, it's pretty constant and we always make room for cake. <laughs> That's the best bit. <laughs> Jane's <good>. cakes <laughs> are worth coming to the working bee for. Marcia. Well, I suppose it's Louise's legacy, and it represents what a passionate gardener she was. Now you're part of us. the family. Yeah, yeah, I'm her younger sister. Well, I suppose for us as family, you know, it's something that keeps Louise with us. There's cups here. That's all right. That's yeah. Um, what would you like? Black tea. Black tea.